Welcome, this is Justin the E-Professor and we're going to do our first Periscope on how to Periscope for Realtors. So I've been watching this for probably about a month and one of the things that I want to make sure I was learning here is how to interact and some of the best practices that I've seen out here and for the next couple Periscope sessions one of the things that we will see is hopefully how to make that happen for you. So I'm going to kind of try to break this down in a couple ways. One of the ways I will do this is basically just kind of explain to you what Periscope is kind of run you through some of the settings and how to get through all that stuff. And then eventually we'll try to talk about strategies and how to make this happen for you. And maybe some tips and techniques and maybe even some tools if we find necessary for that to be something useful for you. So what is Periscope? Periscope is basically a... is basically a live broadcast from your phone. It will, it's a Twitter product, and one of the things that it will allow you to do is uh, have a group, have an audience that is out there designed for you. It's going to allow you to interact and chat with your client base. And I think from a real estate perspective, this can be extremely handy. One of the things I think we always lack is getting that interaction. You know, we can post blogs, we can email, we can send tweets out, and that's all awesome stuff. But you're not getting that direct engagement. And I think Periscope and Meerkat's another example of this. I just really like uh, uh, Periscope and some of the things they do to get this done. And one of the things that we will uh, show you in here is basically how to encourage that engagement. That's one of the things I think is amazing for it. Well, thanks for joining. Who's there? If you guys have questions, please ask them in there. We're going to talk about Periscope for Realtors. And if you guys have questions on how to get this done, let me know. Um, so there's a couple of things in here that we will show you as that goes. The other thing that I like about this is, again, it's a live feed, directly engages from your audience. Um, there's two ways that they'll engage. They will let you have hearts and then they'll let you chat. Heart is basically a thumbs up or we like you type of thing. And as far as Periscope goes, the more hearts you get, the more you will get um, rankings kind of, so to speak, in there. And hopefully you'll get featured down the road. So when you see a lot of these other Periscopers that are out there, they're encouraging getting those hearts and they want to keep getting them, getting them, getting them. Um, it's always definitely something handy to do. So something that you might want to try to do. Hi, Dog Care. Hi, David. Thanks, guys, for joining. If you guys have questions, chat them out. If you uh, like it, give me some hearts. That's always great, too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Love it. Um, so the other couple things that I think is actually very fascinating about this is, one, you get it live for 24 hours. So it will sit in the system for 24 hours. So if you're tweeting this out to a couple things, it's going to exist. There'll be able to come back and watch it at any point in time. If they have it on their phone, which this is actually designed to be a... A, a mobile solution, tablet, mobile phone, mostly a mobile phone because it's always basically in a, in a um, portrait environment that you're seeing this in. Uh, Doug there, do you, I think this is a fad? Uh, I, you know, for the most part, I think everything's a fad, although I would say Facebook's a fad. It just has lasted longer than I thought. Yes, I do think this is going to be a fad to some degree. But I think there is some legs on this because you're even seeing Facebook right now is playing with a celebrity version of this same thing. You're going to have some live feed going on from Facebook, but they're only opening it up right now for celebrities. So I think you're seeing people actually gain some of this stuff. Another great example of this is uh, last night, unfortunately, I didn't go to sleep or early because I was watching a little bit of Periscopes and the Ferguson event was going on. So before what you would learn in the past was Twitter would... Keep you not lose, it would keep the news live for you and be real time. Last night, you got to not only see what was or hear what was going on through chatting and all that stuff, but you got to watch what was going on live for someone that was periscoping right from the event. And that was actually, to me, that was a fascinating thing to watch. And I think, um, yes, I think it's a fad. Is it a 30 minute fad? Is it a two year fad, a three year fad? Um, that I don't know. I do think it's going to have a certain amount of legs and I think there'll be something newer and better down the road that come out there. I think you're going to see YouTube do something. Obviously, Facebook's already mentioned they're going to do something. You're going to see these things. So Periscope might not be the end tool, but I think this type of broadcasting will have some sort of legs for um, any entrepreneur, any business person that wants to kind of get out there and get that done. Um, the other thing that I really like about Periscope is the fact that once you're done with the Periscope, you have the ability to download 
the the video. So then I can put it on other things. So for me, for me trying to explain this to realtors, a lot of small business people, uh, I can create all these videos and now I can put it in my blog post. I could put it straight on Facebook. I can do a lot of other things with this video now and get a lot more useful out of it. And so it's, I get to reuse it and get more hits and get more traffic what's going out there. So something very entertaining for me, something very fun to see. So, uh, how do you broadcast? That was the basic thing. So one of the things, <laughs> not a problem, appreciate the question. Uh, if you have more, let me know. I, it's kind of how I'm trying to use Periscope. I, I'm more of a uh, Q&A guy. I love the interaction. I, I'm really big into answering questions and getting it out there and trying to help other people. So um, I'm going to double tap, which is, by the way, a tip. If you're trying to switch between cameras, front facing or rear facing cameras, you double tap on the screen. It will do it for you. So a couple things I wanted to really kind of walk through real quick here, and this might be hard to see. Um, zoom in here a little bit closer. So when you're periscoping, one of the things that you have out there is you have down here on the bottom corner right there, you have a little button that will let you launch periscope. When you do that, there's a couple of things that will pop up in here. One of the things that pops up is uh, the start broadcast button you see, but up top, you have the broadcast title. Now here's a real, some, some quick tips for broadcasting titles. Um, put, some, put some pizzazz in there, get some things that help you get found. Um, also think hashtags. You saw when you see mine, I had a couple hashtags out there. I'm going specifically for uh, real estate and realtors, small business people that are out there. Um, so you're gonna to wanna to have that in there. And also you'll know, have some emoticons that seems to get a lot of traffic and get a lot of people going out there. Next little things in here, if you want people to know where you're at, you got a little icon that will let you pinpoint your direction. It may be this, it also may be like a compass symbol. It depends on which you're on. iPhone I think might be a compass symbol. This will let you either let everybody chat or just your people that are following you chat. And then obviously here's the big thing, especially if you're trying to get out there and be found right away. One of the things that you want to do is hit that tweet, Twitter icon because then it will post this out into the Twitterverse and let it go. And you know, one of the things to keep in mind is Periscope. Meerkat is the same thing, but Periscope is the Twitter product. Twitter said, we have this. This is our solution. And we're going to come through there with that. Also, you can notice up top, you can do public or private posts. So if you had a bunch of followers that you're only looking to build a small audience, you can do some real fun things with that. The other thing that happens in here, and just and we kind of mentioned this earlier, but I just want to kind of review it so you can see it from the other end, is when you're periscoping, there's a couple of things that you're going to get, and this is where I think the huge value is coming from this, is one, you get the video screen that happens in here. You can see what's going on. But on the small left-hand side, you're getting the conversation that comes out there. And again, I just saw someone join. Thanks for joining. If you have questions, please let me know. I will answer them gladly. If, uh, if you like it, give me a heart or two. Um, and then speaking of hearts, you have that over on the right-hand side. They're color-coded depending on who the person is giving the heart. But that's just kind of your way of saying thanks. We like what you're doing. Keep it up type of thing. It's, you know, thumbs up the applause symbol, whatever you're used to seeing, that's kind of what goes on from, from that avenue. Um, and again, it's a rear facing or front facing camera. Obviously right now I'm doing it from the rear, you're not seeing me, you're seeing the back camera because I'm kind of pointing to a couple PowerPoint slides and you go from there. So it's actually a really kind of fun environment. So, again, some of the things that you want out of this, and one of the things I think you're trying to design yourself for inside the Periscope is this. You're trying to, you're trying to build interactions. You're also trying to build follows hearts. So one of the things you always want to do is get your follow count up. Um, whenever you're in here and you're trying to follow somebody, you have the ability, if you're in an iPhone, to swipe right, I believe. It might be left, but I, it might be, I think it's right. Or you, or you, from an Android, you swipe up from the bottom and you'll see the person that's in there. You can click on the broadcaster and there'll be, if you're not already following, there's be a follow icon and you can follow those people. The nice thing about getting those follows is the fact that when you're doing it, 
you have uh, you're going to get alerts right off the bat when they're broadcasting next. So you're going to see that stuff and get that information and kind of go on from there. Again, hearts are going to help you from a ratings perspective. It's always going to keep up from there. So if you like this, and the nice thing about that is those hearts always count even if you're doing the replay version of this, which is also really kind of neat. So I think it's actually a lot of fun from that regards. And the other thing that happens, if you're doing this even on Twitter, you can watch this, for, you can watch it live from a desktop. Um, and you can kind of just play along with there. The only thing you can't do when you're in the desktop version is you cannot chat with them. So if you are not on the mobile device, you're not chatting, you're not communicating, but you are watching and you can be learning from that kind of stuff. Um, and it's actually pretty helpful from that regards. So a couple of things I want you to keep in mind here. Again, this is just going to be a short little session today and we're going to talk more in the next couple of days. But a couple of things to keep in mind in here. One, this is a mobile device and if you're out traveling around, it will attack two things. It will attack your battery life and it will attack your data plan. So if you don't have endless amount of data, you don't have enough, this will be a problem for you. <coughs> Sorry. So the other thing that happens in here that you want to think of is you want to find Wi-Fi places and stuff like that. The other thing that I would recommend is you want to play with equipment. I'm playing with a couple things right now. Right now, this one, I am doing straight without mic and I'm going straight in. I think the, the volume will be good enough, but it could be distracting in bigger rooms. The other thing that I think uh, you want to get into, and this is what I have, is I just have a little small um, mobile tripod. So when I'm talking to you, it's just there. I'm not using my hands to hold out. You can see me, I'm doing it from here. And I think that's always fascinating. So keep those things in mind. I hope you enjoyed this. One of the things that we're going to do in recent session, we're going to do this, I think, once a week for right now uh, and do a couple more posts. And <laughs> I just got a post from somebody asking if I should be doing Ask Professor on Periscope. That's literally what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so... Um... <laughs> That's awesome. Yet another thing I love about the Periscope Avenue. So, I hope you like this. Hey, thanks, Kirito, for signing up here. Do you have any questions? Ask me questions if you got them. Um, otherwise, very shortly, I will be signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, the next couple of sessions, we talk about mattifying your settings, and then we'll actually get into talking about topics and how we can kind of use this to actually try to grow our audience. Because one of the things that we're trying to do, especially from a real estate perspective, is grow no like trust. So, thanks for that. <laughs> There's my dog barking. Another dilemma for this stuff, kind of cons against this stuff. Uh, thanks for listening. We'll be on again shortly. You're always going to get notifications from me. Please follow me in a Periscope, follow me in Twitter, follow me in Facebook, wherever you want it. And we'll talk soon.